Suppose we have a group with an identity element e. The order of an element x is the smallest positive integer n, such that x to the n equals e. You write the order of x using the same notation as the absolute value, but remember this notation means something different in abstract algebra. If there is no positive power of x which gives you the identity element, then we say x has infinite order. Let's see a few examples. The non-zero real numbers form a group under multiplication. We have to omit zero because you cannot divide by zero. Zero does not have a multiplicative inverse. We indicate that we are omitting zero with a tiny multiplication symbol above the r. The identity element in this group is one. Incidentally, the order of one is just one because one to the first power is still one. In fact, the order of the identity element in any group is one. The order of negative 1 is 2, because negative 1 squared is 1. Other than 1 and negative 1, no other non-zero real number can be raised to a positive integer power to get 1. So all other real numbers have infinite order in this group. For our next example, let's look at the complex numbers. The non-zero complex numbers form a group under multiplication. Again, we must omit 0, because 0 does not have an inverse under multiplication. And like before, we write a small multiplication symbol above the c to show we are omitting zero. There are infinitely many complex numbers z, where z to the n equals 1 for a positive integer n. Because they're all nth roots of 1, they are known as the roots of unity. One root of unity is the number i, the square root of negative 1. Since i to the fourth power is 1, the order of i is 4. For our last example, consider the real 2x2 two two matrices under matrix multiplication. For a 2x2 two two real matrix to have an inverse, it must have a non-zero determinant. The group of such matrices is called the general linear group, and we write it like this. The GL is short for general linear. The 2 tells us the matrices are 2x2 two two matrices, and the R lets us know the numbers in the matrix are real numbers. The identity element in this group is the 2x2 two two identity matrix. Consider the matrix M with entries the square root of 3 over 2, negative 1 half, 1 half, and the square root of 3 over 2. This is known as a rotation matrix because it rotates vectors in the plane. Now look at the powers of this matrix. We see that M to the 12th power is the identity matrix, so the order of M is 12.